Good Day Lubbock continues on Fox 34 in high definition. 722, and you know, you don't have to slave all day over the stove for Thanksgiving. We've got some fast and easy ideas. Tana Taylor joins us in the Fox 34 Corner Kitchen with a couple of folks from the Community Health Center of Lubbock. Hey, Tana. Hey guys, we've got a great little show for you today. I'm so excited you guys are here. We've Thank got you. Yvonne and Josh here. Uh, tell us what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making an apricot Dijon glazed turkey breast tenderloin with potatoes and zucchini. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Yeah, just the time for Thanksgiving. I I know, and it's something a little little bit different than mm -hmm. Thanksgiving the turkey. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about you want to start with that? How yeah. do we how what do we What we'll get do this is going? we'll go ahead and take our pan and we'll just grease that over with a little bit of pan. Okay, that's pretty easy. We'll take our turkey breast tenderloin and open that up. Okay. We we'll place it in the pan and then I'll get Yvonne to start mixing my herbs for me. Okay, let me hand these to you. Please, if you don't mind. What do we have? Pepper. We've got pepper. pepper, a little bit of salt. And garlic, then, garlic, garlic powder. We've got garlic powder, and then we've got. I have to smell. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, that looks good. What is that? Paprika. Paprika. Awesome. And then we've got herbs from Province. Okay. Now that. What is in this? Ooh, that smells really good. Yeah, it's amazing. I was, I was surprised mm. that it had some lavender in it. Oh yeah, that's very interesting. And do you have a few tips for us, Yvonne? Well, one of the things that we'd like to talk about during the holidays is always keep in mind that it's about spending family time mm -hmm. and uh, with friends. So you don't want to overindulge in your foods. You know, mm -hmm. spending quality time, um, maybe doing some exercises, going walking. There you go, Josh. Um, and keep that in mind because it's not always about the food. Right. I think that's a really good point because we focus around the food so much. We do. And I think with everybody trying to be a little more health conscious, you Absolutely. know, uh, it's it's like you said, it's, it's, you know, getting out and exercising even after you've eaten. Absolutely. So. You know, so, so many people get used to that they eat and they want to take a nap. Mm -hmm. Well, instead of doing that, let's go out for a walk or let's play some football, basketball, or just stay active so that that food just doesn't settle. You're going to exercise. Mm -hmm. And, of course, everything's in moderation. Just because it's in front of you doesn't necessarily mean you're going to eat it. Right. Or that you have to eat it. Well, that's really hard at Thanksgiving. It <laughs> is, but we can, it's all about, you know, those moderation and just, you know, watching what you eat because you don't have to eat everything. I know, that's true. But you can try that's it. True. You can try, take just a little try sliver, a little, bit. a little sliver of everything. Okay. You'll be good. Sliver, if you take a sliver of everything, that's, that's your whole plate. So, yeah. all right. Well, we are going to come up, come back and we're going to put a little extra zest on that chicken. Yeah, we're going to put the, the apricot de glaze over it. And oh my stick gosh. And the oven after the potatoes. It just sounds so good. It started smelling incredible. So we'll see you in a minute. All right, check back in about half an hour. Thanks a lot, Tana. A little tasty Thanksgiving dinner doesn't have to take up your whole holiday. We've got some fast and easy ideas. Tana Taylor's in the Fox 34 Corner Kitchen with some folks from the Community Health Center of Lubbock. Hey, Tana. Hey guys, we've got some great looking turkey over here. We've put some uh, dry rub on it, yeah. and now you're going to make a glaze, right, Josh? Now we're going to make a glaze out of uh, apricot, apricot okay. preserves and Dijon mustard. And that's not too difficult. I love it because these very are simple, simple very ingredients. Healthy a recipe. I love that. And I love the, the rub you've already put on. And then you just put that glaze on top of the rub. We we'll put the glaze on top of the rub and then we'll get our potatoes ready. Okay. And those will surround it as it goes in the oven. Now what kind of potatoes are these? Fingerlings. I, fingerlings. Fingerlings. I love fingerling potatoes. Those are really cool looking. They're very interesting. And then you've got the color. Uh, I love yeah. the purple one. <laughs> and then you've got the red as well. And the, so, aren't they inviting those different colors? And you know what, Yvonne, you've got some great tips. What I do. You had some great tips earlier, so what else can you advise us to do during the holidays? You know, one of the things is you don't want to overindulge. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing is that if you're going to someone's house, um, bring your own favorite dish. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to necessarily let everyone know, hey, you know, I'm a diabetic or I've got some health issues, but just bring your own dish. And a lot of times you'll realize that people don't even realize that it's a healthy meal or a healthy dessert. Hmm. That's really smart. I, I like that idea. And then, you know, I know that you could even take fresh cut vegetables, you know, or fruit and, uh, 
you know, snack on that instead absolutely. of all the other appetizers because that by, might be there. Absolutely. And by the time you get everything ready, you've kind of eaten, you know, snacks mm -hmm. and things in between. And so you want to make sure that, um, once again, not to overindulge, but kind of share and, and just pick mm -hmm. at a little bit. All right, you guys. Coming up next, we'll see this delicious meal in uh, prepped up. Sounds good. We'll check in in about another half hour. Apricot or apricot? Turkey, lurky, do, and turkey, lurky, dap. I eat that turkey, then I take a nap. 819, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Sandler. Adam Sandler? Yes. Uh, Old school Adam Sandler. Yeah. Remember back when he was funny? It was a time. Respect. Yeah. Well, you don't have to slave all day over the stove for Thanksgiving. We've got some fast and easy ideas. Tana Taylor's in the Fox 34 Corner Kitchen with some reps from the Community Health Center of Lubbock. Hey, Tana. Hey guys, I'm excited to see what this dish is going to be ending up to look like. We're putting some zucchini on top of there. And Josh, what is going to be happening here? Uh, what we did was we took our first product, which was the turkey and the potatoes, and we set them in the oven at 375 for about 50 minutes. And now we have the cut up zucchini that we're just going to place on top, and then we'll set that back in the oven for another 30 minutes. I love it. For another 30 minutes. Another and 30 minutes. It, it's interesting. We don't need to put any oil or anything like that on top. Oh, no, man. Okay. I like that because it's like because there's so much moisture in the zucchini. Is that right? Yes. And then the flavor from the potatoes and the turkey are going to absorb as well. And you know what? I, I just thought of this. That makes the, the potatoes not turn out so dry, right? Exactly. Oh, my gosh. I love it when I have brainstorms. <laughs> okay, great. And you've got a, a few tips for us, Yvonne. We do. You know, during the holidays, we tend to uh, maybe drink a little bit of wine and mm -hmm. a little bit of adult beverages. So we want to, once again, drink it in moderation. Right, right. We don't want to overindulge, but just be careful with, you know, drinking, especially um, if you have some health issues or um, if you're a diabetic, you want to be careful with that. Right, and I think you're, you're absolutely uh, correct. We've got to all kind of monitor that. Definitely. Absolutely, and then once again, if you know, drinking and driving, we always want to be careful. Yes, definitely. All right. Well, coming up next, we're going to be taking this dish out and we're going to try it. So we'll see you in a second. Thank you so much. Your Thanksgiving meal doesn't have to steal your whole holiday with preparation. Oh, I'm so excited for Thanksgiving. I just had to throw that out there. <laughs> Throughout the morning, we got some fast and easy ideas. Let's go Tana Taylor to the Fox 34 Corner Kitchen now. Some reps from the Community Health Center of Lubbock. Hey, Tana. Hey, guys, we're going to try this dish and I'm so excited. Josh, you have worked hard to prepare yes, this dish. And Yvonne, I'm so excited y'all are here from uh, from Community Health of Lubbock. And tell me a little bit more about your locations. Well, we've got actually eight. Go ahead. Can we go ahead and eat? Let's eat. But tell us about the locations. Okay, we've got eight different locations and we have some um, one, a couple of our clinics that are extended hours. So at our Parkway, we have extended hours Monday through Friday, 8 to 10, and then on Saturdays and Sundays from 9 to 9. So that gives those people that opportunity to come in if they're sick. Instead of using the emergency room or urgent care, it gives them that opportunity to come in and save a little mm. bit of money in using our services. The other thing is that um, also, if they're needing dental services at our Arnett Benson Clinic, we're open from 8 to 8. So they need to have their um, teeth checked, it's a good time to do that. Well, that's exciting. There's so yeah. much that uh, you guys offer for the public. It is. Which is wonderful. Well, this is delicious. You got to dig in, girl, <laughs> and try this. It was. It's very good, Josh. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. And uh, we'll see you next time. Go to Fox 34 and pull up any of the recipes that you've seen. Have a great week. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you much, Tana.